Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is what is the maximal temperature of melting for DNA sample that is 400 base pairs long use the following formula and before I will show you a solution which is very easy and simple let me first show you some uh, theory imagine that we have double stranded DNA and following bases A T C G a, A, T, T, A, T. So let's count how many we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And on the complementary strand of the DNA, we are going to have A base pairs with thymine, thymine with adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine, thymine, adenine, adenine, thymine, and adenine and between bases adenine and thymine we have two uh, hydrogen bonds and between cytosine and guanine we have three hydrogen bonds and now let's put this hydrogen bonds here so two two one two three one two three two two, 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 and two. Let's count now. So total number of hydrogen bonds would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So let's put this number here. Twenty-two hydrogen bonds in this double-stranded DNA. Now imagine we have another double-stranded DNA and the sequence is going to be as follows C G A T G C C A T Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 One more and C And on the complementary strand of the DNA we are going to have G, C, T, A, C, G, G, T, A, and G. Now let's put hydrogen bonds. One, two, three here. One, two, three here. One, two. One, two. One, two, three here. One, two, three here. One, two, three here. One, two. One, two. And one, two, three here. Let's now count how many hydrogen bonds we have. So 3, 6, 8, 10, 13, 16, 19, 21, 23, plus 3, 26. So 26 hydrogen bonds. Imagine that these hydrogen bonds are just like threads that hold two pieces of the cloth. And of course, the more threads we have, the stronger connection is going to be. And those, this DNA, double-stranded DNA and this double-stranded DNA has the same number of bases, 10 bases, 10 base pairs, both of them, but different number of hydrogen bonds. And of course, melting point of this uh, double-stranded DNA would be slightly uh, higher than of this one because uh, more energy would be needed in order to separate these two strands of the DNA. Why this information is important? It is important because we need to set a certain temperature for, for example, polymerase chain reaction. Now let's return to our problem. What is the maximal uh, melting temperature for DNA sample that is 500 base pairs long? Let's use this information 500 base pairs long and let's put it here in our formula 500 goes here and what is the maximum GC content and it can be 100% so let's put 100 here what we have 500 divided by 500 is going to be 1 and uh, what we have here 0 0.41 multiplied by uh, 100 is going to be 41. 41 
minus 1 is going to be 40. 64.9 plus 40 is going to be 104.9. And this is answer C. I also recommend you to watch my other videos on this topic. I provide links under this video in the comment box. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.